What's up, everybody? AJ here, host of the Madden NFL 12 podcast. And this is an excerpt from this week's podcast, which you can download right now on iTunes. And be sure to subscribe, leave us a comment, and rate it for us. Enjoy. All right, now it's time for the strategy pad, and we have a special guest this week in studio. Uh, most people know him as Z Farls from Madden Bible, but you are also the uh, author, not editor, I said editor earlier, but you are the author of the official Prima Madden NFL 12 strategy guide. It's Zach Z Farls in studio with us. What's up, man? Nothing much, guys. What's going on? It's good to have you, man. So real quick, before we before we go into this and, and stuff, I just want to touch on this. It's it's more than just a strategy guide. Can you tell everybody on here, you know, we focus so much we have earlier on your guys' strategy guide, the actual book, but can you let everybody know what you guys are kind of doing on the web right now too? So we have a bunch of digital projects, uh, products to go along with the strategy guide at primamadden.com. You can get uh, three different playbooks on offense, If depending on your style, if you're a run-heavy player, if you're a pass-heavy player or a balanced player. And those are all going to give you a game plan to follow along so you can play with the best. And then there's our defensive guide, which is probably our best seller right now. Um, you know, defense usually comes later in the season, but as you guys know, it's one of the most important things you can have. If you have a few plays that can put pressure on that offensive team, um, our 46 guide is just awesome right now. So that was a big plus to uh, be able to get in here, get our hands on that, get the blitzes all ready to go. And... Um, that's a couple things I'd recommend checking out just beyond the guide. And there's there's a lot of guys probably wondering but for cost and things like that, but you guys offer what's called the winner's guide. Do you want to give a bit of information of what's included, the price and things like so that? So absolutely. I mean, I think the biggest thing that we do is you can uh, you know, you can pick up the our run heavy guide which is only 9.99, and if you end up liking the guide and the videos and the breakdowns, you know, they'll refund your purchase if you want to get something bigger and better. If you want to get a bundle which includes all the guides, uh, we have coupons every week um, that go out to our email list and everything so there's some great values out there the winner's kit comes with everything you also get a weekly side uh, sideline pass which is an update with the hottest tips and tricks in the community uh, we do a live show every week this week in madden at 8 30 um, we give about an hour of tips you can ask mailbag questions you what can call in the show that's on our wednesday nights so if you uh, check on over it's on ustream and primamadden.com uh, we also play a game of the week, which is uh, we bring in the best talent in the community, and they take us on. So you get to get in our mindset. What? Why are we doing what we're doing? What What are we seeing them do, and how are we reacting to it? We're using the stuff that we sell, show you that it's good, and if and if you see it, you know what we're running. It's just going to make you a better player. So all these things are available over at Prima Madden. All right, now uh, I, I have to jump to the story because. Uh, you are, are your buddy uh, and co-author of the strategy guide, S. Gibbs, uh, played against Mike Scandleberry, and you watched the whole thing, correct? Correct. Okay, so this is kind of a long-standing rivalry when you guys come into the studio to work on the strategy guide and all, and all that stuff. Uh, you know, Scant always wants a piece of you guys, and and it has not fared. And for those who don't know, Mike Scandleberry is arguably the best Madden or NCAA player, for that matter, in our studio. Arguably. Arguably. Justin thinks he's better, but uh, it's yet to be proven. So we'll have to see. But, um, yeah, you know it is. You know you haven't proven it yet. Don't throw out a challenge and then not take it I've, I've had I've, I've had situational moments that have gone well, like 35 points in, hey, in one half. I just haven't put it all together. Hey, hey 60 we, minutes. Have, we have an NCAA uh, football 12 tournament going on in studio, and guess who's not playing? I'm playing. Scant's playing. Guess who's not playing? And Andrew's talking, but let's also clarify. <laughs> back when we did the NCAA Football 12 U stream on the air, I think I took Iowa yeah, yeah, and, went yeah, and put yeah, like yeah. 40 on you before people in the chat wanted us to quit because they were saying, this is embarrassing. This looks bad. I don't want to watch your rivalry. It was right. bad. But Gibbs played. Gibbs played Scant. Gibbs played Scant back at the community daytime in Madden 11. It was a one-half game because we wanted to get to lunch. I think it was like 56 nothing. Yeah, there was definitely a 50-burger that happened in that game. And Scant was running with the Texans, so you knew he had that pass-happy offense, the Andre Johnson. Texan. So I, that's what I was thinking when I was playing him. So, so we got this time around, since Farrells is here, we figured we'd give the the head-to-head -head because it's one thing for us to sit here and tell you, oh, their guide's good, their tips are good, or things like that, and we all know talk's cheap, so let's put it to the test. And what happened? What teams were used first? So, uh, recently I've been I've, I did make a proclamation that I play with the Giants all season long, and I have stuck with that. However, in in either games for 
for Pride on the Line or for uh, you know Virgin Gaming or anything, I swapped over to the Philadelphia Eagles. And you guys might think, oh, he's probably ran around with Vic. He probably you know was cheap and had nothing to do with that. Because there's a little guy on that team named LaShawn McCoy. He might have broke the NFL single game rushing record against Scan. I'm just saying he might have. <laughs> I think it was he had 300 yards on only 17 carries. But you know, so I went with the Eagles. He went with the Cardinals. And oh, as wait, I, I thought S. Gibbs played him. No, S. You, Gibbs okay. did S, not play him this he time. Played him, uh, he played him last time, and mm-hmm. so Farles took him on this time. Okay, awesome. So I heard, I've heard, I've, I felt a lot of pressure on me. You know, the weight of the Madden community at, e, at EA here was on my shoulder. Scant was walking around. He was actually strutting the hallway, talking about <laughs> either a 16-week win streak, and everybody wouldn't talk to him. And I went up there, and I just said, hey, man, i got to take you out. You know, you, you're a little cocky right now. You, you know, he's like the Patriots when they're 18 and 0, walking and around, swag. Let's set the tail of the tape. You know, Farles, what's your what's your height, weight? About 6'3", 225. Okay, Scant might be 6'2", 260 with 3% body fat, a matching do-rag with a nice hat at all times, and a very calm demeanor that's a little scary. Like you'll run a play on him and score, and he'll go, hmm, that's nice. That's, that's, <laughs> that's But you can't tell good. if he's making fun of you or not. Yeah, yeah you, right. it's like you feel now like it throws your game off because you're like, oh, he's, he's making fun like, of me. Should I not run that again? Or I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so so what what happened? In the- it's so true. I played it myself, and that, it's exactly what happens. I don't know how he does it, but he just he gets into your head. But he wasn't able to get in yours this time. No, because I've committed to an offensive game plan this season. We have our three-headed rushing attack. It's in the guide. It's on Prima Madden. I didn't have my custom playbook, so I was a little bit nervous because I've fallen in love with a few plays that I've added in um, that we talk about on the weekly sideline. But there was definitely um, – the, the I used the balance scheme from Prima Madden. Just had my audibles locked in. Calm, calm, three-headed rushing attack. He was sitting back playing zone, and he wasn't really bringing his guys to the line. I just ran the strong close formation, three-headed rushing attack on him. LaShawn McCoy broke that game open. I mean, even before I threw a pass with Vic – I was already up 21 nothing, So it wow. was just, I was up 24 nothing. I was up 31-7. Um, controlling the ball, not making turnovers, just playing smart football, seeing what he was giving me. And a lot of people, when when he sits back like that, people who are pass heavy, they'll say, you know, well, I still got to pass it anyway. That's my style. But if he's going to drop, you know, seven guys back, if he's not keeping those guys up in the box, got to run the ball. And I made that commitment this year. I know a lot of people might not think the Eagles are the best team for pounding the ball, but okay. LaShawn McCoy is elite. That was just an excerpt from this week's Madden NFL 12 podcast. Be sure to subscribe and download the full version, which is totally free, on iTunes.